And this is our uh, Shelbourne stripper head that we harvest all of our, our cereal grains with. Um, we're also harvesting oats with it and uh, have harvested a little bit of prozo millet with it. Out here, we, we think it's pretty critical. It allows us to leave a lot more stubble residue after harvest. Um, that's primarily the reason we bought it and why we run them. Again, the only modifications to it that we've made on this machine here is we have the head sight system on it which just is, you know, your auto height control and the, <laughs> it's really critical these last couple of years with the short crops we've been raising in the drought. Uh, you really can't see how high the header is until it's hitting the ground, so that, that's what all the, the sensors are allowing us to do. That's really the only modification we made to it. Other than that, it's pretty much set up like it come from the factory. We were uh, just running platform heads with augers. Um, we hadn't upgraded to the, any of the Draper stuff yet. So we was just running your standard platform heads that are pretty much standard equipment out here. You know, typically we're harvesting the wheat and then planting corn as the typical rotation. Um, I don't know that I have any hard facts to back it up, but I feel like the stripper stubbles at least five to 10 bushel on the corn. Um, there has been some work done on that that kind of backs some of that up, but here on our place, we don't have that. We went and looked at some other guys that was running them and made the decision and haven't looked back since. We just, we just love them. We think, think it's super critical out here. The moisture retention, the extra snow capture, and the protection it provides, especially like a corn plant or any other plant you plant into it the next spring, the protection that stubble provides is, is just absolutely necessary, I think.